and welcome to WordPress workshop module four. We're going to be looking at setting up our menu, building our homepage, building our about page, building our contact page, customizing, stylizing our menu and editing the footer. So let's dive right in. So first up, we're going to be setting up our menu. So what we need to do is we need to sign into our WordPress dashboard. And to do that, you type in your domain slash WP dash admin, or you can also sign in through your Bluehost portal. So I can log in here, log into WordPress. Now, if you're struggling to sign into WordPress, just let me know and I will help you out. So this is your WordPress dashboard and you can see the Bluehost and everything else down the left hand side there. If you're not using Bluehost as your host, then this element won't be there. What we're going to be looking at today is setting up your menu and setting up your pages. So to set up your menu, we need to have some pages to add to our menu. So let's create some pages. So to create your pages, all you need to do is scroll down on the left hand side till you hit this tab and click pages. Then it will show you all the pages that have currently been created. Now Bluehost will automatically create a home page and a blog post page that you should see there. They'll also have the sample page. Now we created the test page last week to um, style and add our branding. So that one will still be there. This week we're going to add our home page, an about page, and a contact page. Now our home page has already been created there, so we don't need to add that one. So what we need to do to add a new page is go up to the top and click add new. You've also got the add new tab on the left hand side there. So let's add new, click add new button. Now we already have the home page created. If you haven't, you can create home here, but we're going to create the about page. So we just need to write about. So we're just creating the page. We're not going to be editing or doing anything with it. So then we come over to the right hand side here and we just want to click publish. So now when we go back to pages, we'll see that there is an about page that has been added that you can go in and create and edit. So we have the home page, the about page. If you haven't got a home page yet, go in and create that one as well. The next page we're going to do is a contact page. So we're just going to add new again and give it a title of contact. Again, we're not going to be editing anything at the moment. We'll be doing that later. And then we're just going to click publish. Now for quick reference, so this is the contact page that you've created and this is where we will be editing it in the future. If you need to add another page quickly, instead of going back out to your pages, you can then, you can just add a new page from here and it will create a new one. So we're gonna go back out into the pages and see how it says pages and then this is all the new pages that we have. So what we want is the about page, the about page and the contact page. Now we've created these pages. So these are all individual pages. At present, they are not linked together. So we need to create a menu that will link them together. And this menu we can add to our navigation bar so that when people land on our website, they'll be able to see the home page, the about page, and the contact page navigation at the top, and they will all be linked together so they can click through. Now to set up the menu, what we need to do first is make sure that when somebody lands on our website, they will be landing on our home page. Now to do that, we need to go into side of our WordPress, go into settings and go into reading. So again, on the left hand side, down our panel, down all the way down to you see settings, hover on settings and then it will bring up these and we wanna go into reading. Click on that. Now what it might say is it might say the, the last post has been selected. So we don't wanna do that. That would only be selected if we were having a blog page where your posts are constantly on the home page. But we want to have a static page to land on when customers land on our page and we want it to be our home page. So make sure this one is highlighted and then make sure the home page is selected. 
Now post page we're just going to leave as select so make sure that is just select. Now we need to save that out. Scroll all the way down the bottom and then click save changes. So by doing this it means when a customer lands on your website they will see the home page. The next thing we need to do is now link them all through by creating a new menu. Now Bluehost would have already created a standard menu with those pages but we want to make sure that they're all accurate. So again back onto the left hand side of your WordPress dashboard scroll all the way down until you see the tab appearance and hover over that and then you will see this menus tab so click on that. Now this will bring us to our menus managing page where we can create new menus and add them to our site. So at present we have the menu name main menu and we're going to leave it at that. You could name it something like navigation menu or top menu or whatever you want to call it. We're just going to call it main menu for now. Now to add pages to this menu so that they link together, at present we have this home page and we have the test page in our main menu. You might have sample page and blog page there as well. So what we want to do is we want to add the about page and the contact page. So here are all the pages listed down here. It'll have most recent. Let's just click on view all so we make sure we see everything. Now we want to click the about page and the contact page. If you don't have the home page here bring, um, coming up, just make sure you click the home page as well and it will come over. And then once you've clicked those, you just add to menu and it will bring those over into the menu structure area. So now we can see that we have the home page, the about page and the contact page. Now the test page was the page we used to style our fonts and the buttons. So we don't need this anymore. So to remove that page, all you need to do is come across and click the drop down arrow and then we want to click remove. So now that one has gone. Now we have the home page, the about page and the contact page. In these areas, you can also change the label what will be displayed. I don't want page written, I just want home. So I'm just going to remove that and then click back up. Again, you can change those labels. You can also move them around. So if you wanted the contact next to home and the about further down, you can move them around. But I'm going to leave them as home, about and contact. So later down the track, we're going to be adding the blog page and the shop page but for now we just have the home, the about and the contact page. Down here it this is where your menu so the main menu will be displayed on your home page and throughout your website so we want it to be in the primary menu location. So now that you've created that menu we just want to save that menu so click save so now we have set up our menu. The next step is we're going to be looking at creating our home page. Now let's just go and see what the menu looks like from the main screen. Let's see if it's all connected. So here we have the home, the about and the contact page. So that means our menu is working and these pages are now all linked together so people can navigate when they land on our website. So that is how you set up your menu and link your pages together.